Hello, hello, everybody. How we doing? Good. Welcome to the Senior Consultant through Advanced Director Roundtable. Um, you guys are in for a treat for your panelists today, so be super excited. And you might be looking through the Zoom to see. Um, I am Nikki Sherborn. If you don't know who I am, um, I am in your training department and a consultant like yourself. So um, if this is your first roundtable, welcome. Um, we are, if you ha have been coming to all the roundtables, welcome back because you're going to get a lot of great trainings when you come to these roundtables. So make sure to always have these on your calendars. Um, I just want to remind you that the roundtables are being recorded, so it will be uploaded on our Pure Romance Training YouTube channel. So just give us a day or two to get it up and um, make sure to, if you have any questions, use the chat feature and we'll be able to go through them at the end. So I'm very excited to introduce um, to you the consultant that is going to be talking with you today on the roundtable. She will be teaching us all about how to increase sales within your VIP page. And I think um, she took it from a different angle and this is gonna be a great opportunity for you guys to maybe put some things down into your calendar and be able to focus on what you need to do and plan it out, okay? So um, let me get, let me, hold on one second, I gotta pull up my one thing. All right. All right, so let me introduce you to our amazing panelists today, uh, Ms. Sherry Hudgens. I love Ms. Sherry. I've always looked up to um, Sherry. So um, let me give you some of her stats from last year. Um, her personal retail sales were $211,061, a huge 200K club. Woo -woo. If that is in your um, goal board. She had 72 activations, so over the 50, um, the 50 activations club too. And then her team sales were $1,771,836. Give her some love in the chat. That is awesome. Woo -woo. Uh, Ms. Sherry Hudgens is a senior executive director. She's outside of Chesterville, Chesterfield, Michigan. Um, so it's probably cold up there. You got some snow probably, yeah. Um, her, her family, she's got Coleman, her husband of 16 years, um, a daughter, London, 11 years old and a bonus daughter. I, 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 is that how you say it? Isis, 20 years old. Um, I just want to make sure I pronounced that right, Sherry. Her most positive thing, um, she experienced in 2020 was learning to embrace her online business. So guys, you're in for a treat because Sherry's been in business for a long time. So she knows what she's doing, okay? So really it's hard for us old bees to try new things in the social world. So um, you'll definitely get something, some great information out of her. Um, her 2021 resolution is to save $100,000. To save, did you hear me right? Save, that's awesome. Um, one thing that she's obsessed with right now outside of Pure Romance is listening to music and working out. So, and if you're using the MoveSpring app as well, make sure that you're on that app because it's got a lot of great videos too. Um, something most people don't know about her is when she was younger, she was shy and she would cry when strangers talked to her. Sherry, I don't believe that. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Uh, yeah, I read that and I was like, what? No way. Yeah, I've come a long way. Heck yeah. And her word or phrase that people would describe her is she's very genuine and I definitely see that. So um, this round table is a class style. So Sherry's going to be able to share her screen. And um, Sherry, how are you doing today? I'm good. I, um, I'm not gonna lie. I was super nervous, uh, doing this. I was like all morning. I'm like, I, why am I so nervous? Why am I so nervous? It's, I don't ever want to let anybody down. So I finally, like, I was like, okay, that's why I'm nervous. So I'm not going to let anybody down. I'm on my, on my shit today. Excuse me. I said it and I know this is recorded. I shouldn't have done that. Um, but see when you're nervous, you do stuff like that. So, um, I'm doing good. It's, it is really cold here in Michigan. I know a lot of you Midwesters, can agree. Yeah, for sure. So 
um, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this. Um, when you guys reached out to me about this, I was like, okay, I have taken my VIP to a different angle and I'm going to share all of that with you guys. I've gotten great feedback from my clientele and um, who knew what we were going to go through in 2020, right? So we had to do something different. And um, I'm actually grateful in a way that it made me push myself outside of my comfort level because I do believe that that's where the growth happens. So just when you think you know everything there is to know about pure romance, then life, life uh, hands you a curveball and you're like, okay, I'm going to go with it. So, um, all right. So you want me to go ahead and share my screen and go through this? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I think all it right. makes it a lot easier for us too because it actually expanded our networks too with uh oh yeah for sure virtually. yeah i agree <laughs> okay so um nikki i'm just gonna put it in play mode for this right okay yeah go ahead and then i'll be watching the chat for your questions okay perfect so we're gonna talk about increasing sales and vip pages um, so what you're going to learn today is, um, you're not that you don't know how to be yourself, but we're going to dive into this a little bit more. So be yourself and brand yourself, the do's and don'ts of social media, uh, follow-up system, building engagement. Um, and here is a great quote that I'm going to share with you. It's sales is not about selling anymore, but about building trust and education. Um, something else that some of you may not know about me, I've actually, I sold cars for almost 10 years before I became uh, a consultant with Pure Romance. So I've been in sales for about half of my life, um, but I hate salespeople. And that's why this quote right here is amazing because I, I truly believe this. I think that, you know, it's more so you're building connections with people where you become friends and then they trust you and you're basically recommending good products to awesome. your friends at that point. Okay, so here are some statistics. Let me get it out of this view real quick. Oh, my cursor went away. Okay, there we go. Um, so 48% of salespeople never follow up with a prospect. 25% of salespeople make a, never make a, um, I'm sorry, make a second contact and then they stop. 12% of salespeople only make three contacts and stop. Only 10% of salespeople make more than three contacts. 2% of sales are made on the first contact. So if you think about that, if only 48% of salespeople are only, are, or they're not following up with anybody at all, only 2% happen on the first contact, 3% on the second, 5% on the third, 10% on the fourth, and 80% of all, or 80% of sales are made on the fifth to 12th contact. Um, I get ghosted all the time, you guys. And for a long time, I would take it super personal. And now I'm like, okay, they're just not ready yet, um, which is fine. What happened here? Sorry, Nikki. I don't know what I just did. Let me see if I can. You can use your arrow buttons too down yeah, on the I key tried that and okay there up oh, there we go okay go. so here's a look at my january um because i have i um if you don't know to and you're welcome any of you are welcome to follow me on facebook just don't send me a friend request because i always feel really bad when i have to decline friend requests um but you're welcome to follow everything that i do is pretty much public but um those of you that don't know my mom actually was diagnosed with cancer in um, November. So um, I was I'm the caretaker for her. It's, I have a very small family. So long story short, I didn't do a lot of in-home parties for that reason, but obviously I still had to generate an income. So I did um, most of this all online. And so I only did one virtual party. Um, I'm trying to embrace the whole virtual party thing, but I think I was just telling my team the other day, I was like, I think between my team and my clients, like, I think everybody's keeping me busy um, that I don't, I have to figure it out and plan it in my calendar. Um, I did do two in-home parties, but most of my retail um, for last month came from outside sales. So we're going to dive into that a little bit. And I'm going to talk to you what um, I've found that has been working real well. Um, let's dive into this a little bit though. So being yourself and branding yourself. So um, first things first, I want to share with you some things that I post on my personal page. Here's the thing. Nobody wants to see nothing but, or nobody wants to see all pure romance on your page. They want to know that you're a person too, and you can still do the subtleties. And that's my favorite part about selling 
is that it's more of like a subtlety thing. So I make people want our products and I don't feel like it's, it's one of those things where you have to buy it. Like I'm not putting pressure on anybody, but if you create that desire, they're going to want it. And when you show them that you're actually using it, like this is a true post. This first one is my daughter, London. Um, it was hair wash day and I put body doing her hair. And I, and I actually had learned that from a client. She said she had ran out of argon oil. So she said she used body do. And I was like, oh my God, why didn't I think about that? So um, I use it in London's here. I had a lot of clients that were like, oh my God, I had no idea. So just like letting them know that here, like, and you can even see, I can see it. It's like my, my eyes went right to it. My background is so messy. Like my other room where I work in, it's a, it's a disaster zone, but people need to know that you're a real life person too. Um, the middle one, it talks about, you know, the business opportunities. So it's another one of those things. It's subtle, right? It's not um, join my team, join my team. It's just like talking about the simple fact of like, hey, listen, like, yes, you can make money from working from home. And then the final one here is um, I just I'm very candid about my weight loss journey. Um, and I think people find that that's super relatable. I never thought I could be an inspiration to anybody. So when I still hear that to this day, it's, it's humbling. Um, but it's also showing like you're a real person. So don't be afraid to let them see, you know, you are a real person outside of pure romance. Okay, so here is my VIP page. And I just recently changed it. And I know I saw a lot of consultants doing it too, where they um, made a post, which uh, there is a picture, there's a slide in here of the post that I had made. Um, but you'll notice the name of my VIP page is now Pure Romance by Sherry Girl Tribe. So, um, and here's a description of basically what they can expect in there. So um, I put, it's a safe place for us to discuss anything. Basically what I did was I opened it up to where my clients can post on the VIP group page. And that was a really hard one for me because I'm kind of a control freak. Um, so what ended up happening was I was like, you know what, let me just go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I had actually got this idea from a sister consultant and, um, the first question I had somebody post and I still have it where I have to approve the post. So, um, that way, you know, I can, I can still have somewhat of control. Um, but you'll notice I did this the middle of January. Um, the other thing too, is here is a screenshot of videos. I do videos a lot, but they're not super long. So here it is. I just did a quick little demo on, um, bosom buddy and, um, you want to do it because here's the thing. Even if you post a picture alongside of your product, what ends up happening is um, people sometimes watch videos without sound all the time. So they can actually see your excitement within you talking about the products, but then also they can read about it. So you'll see my description there, you'll see the video. Um, and then I always like to say too, like, listen, I don't have a perfect life. I don't think anybody truly does. But I always make sure that I'm trying to be as positive as I possibly can in my videos, like smile. Even when you're picking up the phone, I know that phone, like it, it, there's people that can talk on the other end. It's not just for like scrolling Facebook, but when you get people on the phone or you leave those voice clips, smile, because it makes such a difference. And I promise you, if you get in the habit of doing that, what ends up happening is that you're going to notice that people are going to start smiling back at you. Um, Okay, let's talk a little bit about do's and don'ts on social media. So I love this graphic um, because it's so, so true. And it's a lot of things that sometimes we forget, right? So you want to make sure that you do use things as a tool, but not exactly. And you do want to type like you talk. And that I think takes a little bit of practice. Um, and when I say that, what I mean is we all can copy and paste. And I love the fact that our training um, tab has that all of that um, out for us. But what ends up happening is that it's all the same. So if you have clients that are friends with multiple consultants, they see the same exact thing and they're not really getting to know your personality. So when I message, I message using a ton of emojis. And it's the same thing when I'm talking, like I'm pretty animated. Like right now, I know you guys can't see me because you're looking at this, but my hands are all over the place right now. And I'm not even Italian. So, um, you know, you just want to make sure that you are typing how you are talking, um, being engaging. So making sure that when you are like, say for instance, if you are reaching out to somebody end your message with a question, um, or, you know, do something like, um, I've seen girls where they've asked like, what's your favorite foundation or whatever it is. Um, 
you want to do things that will create some type of um, boost in your algorithm for sure. Using links and hashtags, that's super important too. I have a lot of girls on my team. I have one in particular. Every time she posts something, she has the same hashtag. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to give hers away, um, but she uses it all the time. So I know even if I'm scrolling and I just happen to see her hashtag, I already know who it is because she's branding herself, right? Um, take advantage of scheduling the posts within your group pages because then that way you're working smarter and not harder. Um, recycling content is awesome. So it is the same thing of like seeing something that somebody's doing in the business and you're seeing that they're getting great results. Don't be afraid to make it your own, not the copy and paste necessarily, but make it your own. Also, I want you to um, be mindful. And I know that um, Chris talks about this all the time. And I think especially right now, you've got to be super, super mindful what you're posting. Um, people don't necessarily need to know what your political views are. And whatever your political views are, like, here's the deal. I don't care what anybody does because I, I still want their money. Um, so keep that in the back of your mind. Like, just be super, super mindful about that. Now you don't want to spam. So spamming would be like all of the, um, you know, buy this product. Um, you don't want to do that because then what's going to end up happening, people are either going to A, unfollow you or they're going to unfriend you. Um, the other thing too is like plagiarize. So recycling the content is, same, is not the same thing as stealing content. So you do want to make sure that you are, I am a big um, fan of citing my sources. So if I get an idea from somebody, I'm like, hey, shout out to Nikki uh, Sherborne because she gave me this uh, great idea on blah, 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 blah. So um, just be super, super mindful about that. Um, same thing, like we, we were just talking about being mindful with crossing the line. So staying away from, you know, stay away from religion and politics and maybe somebody's sexual orientation. Um, just be super, super mindful about that. Um, don't be boring. So it's the same thing. Like you want to make sure that whatever you're doing is exciting. So you don't want to make it seem like one minute you're talking about, you know, how, um, oh, poor is me. Like, oh, I just, I don't feel good today. Or my baby daddy is a deadbeat or all these things. And then all of a sudden you're like, hey, you should join my team. Nobody wants to be around somebody like that. So we all go through things, right? But sometimes we just have to just put it in the back of our brain and move forward. You're a business owner and you have to treat your business that way. Um, so there is a fine line between too much, too little and social. So I like to follow the rule of a third, a third, a third. Um, and I had learned this years ago at a training. So basically a third of what I post is my personal, because again, people still want to know I'm a person outside of pure romance. A third is pure romance. And then the other third is something either inspirational or something funny. Um, so I kind of follow those rules. Okay, so you don't want to copy everything that's being done. You don't only want to share those business posts. You don't want to um, let your personal beliefs get in the way of business. Because remember, everybody can spend money with you regardless of what their thoughts are. Um, you don't want to be spammy either. So you got to be super mindful about that. You do want to do something to stand out. Um, I will tell you what's super funny, funny is that my clients now know I am a sucker for Facebook ads. Um, <laughs> so uh, just recently I bought this like hat and it has a mask attached to it and a scarf and I posted about it. And then I had like three different people on the, um, the post asked me where I got it. And I, I, so I put the link on there and I remember my husband was like, you're not even getting paid to sell those things. And, and I said, I know, but like, they're loving it. And I just, he's like, you're like an influencer, but you're not being paid for it. However, a girl on my team, Brooke, she was like, but you are in a way because you're branding yourself. So every time they see something like that, they're going to automatically think of you. And I was like, I didn't even think about it like that. I just think it's, it's fun to post things that I get on Facebook. Um, so letting your clients get to know you in that way. Um, I have people that tag me in things with leopard all the time because they know I love leopard or rose gold, things like that. Your, um, your own links and hashtags, that's super important too. Um, do be the light that others need, especially right now, you guys. So when you can provide something that makes somebody laugh for the day or you can provide something that makes them, you know, feel like warm and fuzzy for the day because it was inspirational, do that. Um, just be super mindful. 
Okay, let's talk a little bit about follow-up systems. So I didn't think I was really a systems girl until I was like, I, I guess I am. I just do it without thinking about it. So um, the 222 method, I know that a lot of you probably use this, or if you're not using it, I'm going to highly recommend that you do use it um, because you can go right on the training, um, the training link on the COO. And if you go underneath the cell tab, you'll see a lot of this follow-up. Um, which is awesome. So the 222 is after two days, you do want to um, follow up with your clients after two weeks and then also two months, because after two months, they're probably going to need refills if they, if they got their consumable products. Plus the other thing that's really awesome, you guys, is the fact that for 2020, if you notice that, or since 2020, I should say, um, if you notice corporate, we've had, it, we've had all these little mini launches so it's not like, you know, before we had every three, or I'm sorry, we'd have new products every three, every, um, or three times a year. So now we have these little mini launches. So what ends up happening is that it gives you another reason to reach out to your clients. Like, Hey, listen, I know that you love lingerie. Guess what we just got in. Um, so something along those lines. Now my leads list, there's nothing fancy about it. Well, besides the fact that it's pink and sparkly, I have just a spiral notebook that I have um, names of um, leads that are interested in the business. And then I just, I touch base with them. But guess what? I'm not just touching base with them when, they're there, when there's a kit sale because our kits are always on sale. I'm just touching base with them. They're like friends to me. Okay, so birthdays and anniversaries. So if you have your client's anniversary, you can do the same thing. Um, but I like to do a two week, two week follow up after I send them a birthday coupon, which I'm going to show you some examples. Okay, there is um, a three month refill. So on products and orders, and then reach out to every party goer. So it doesn't matter if they purchased products from you or not, you do will definitely want to make sure that you're reaching out to everybody. Okay, so here's an example of what I do for follow up for my hostess. So I and I mostly do all of this through Facebook Messenger, unless she's not on Facebook, then I typically do a text message. Um, so hey, gorgeous, thank you so much for having me over for your party. I hope you had fun. Did you have any questions or concerns about any of your products so far? Okay, so and then I just respond to them based on how they respond to me. Um, because you do want to make sure that you are building that connection um, for, I will tell you, because I did come from the car world, right? Um, when I would do follow up with people, this question, did you have any questions or concerns used to make me cringe? Because if someone had an issue with a car, like that's a, an expensive repair, right? Or an expensive ticket item with our products. It's like, I already know, like I have the confidence when I reach out and I say, do you have any questions or concerns? I'm not going to have that issue and corporate has our back, which is awesome. Okay, so here is follow up message for somebody that I, I already knew she's a party goer um, from, you know, I, I, she's a client, I should say. Um, so it was just, hey, it was great to see you at so and so's party. I hope you had fun. Did you have any questions or concerns about the product? So again, I just went ahead and I made sure that um, when I'm doing that follow up, I'm reminding them too. Just so that you guys know, I know that you're going to see in that, that um, second message that I sent to her, I said, I'm here whenever you're ready. If you decide before Friday that you, that you want to add more to your order. So basically what I do for my party goers is that um, I talk about the $8 handling fee. And mind you, I don't call it shipping. I call it handling. I let them know that there is an $8 handling fee on all orders. So it doesn't matter if they get one item or multiple. So that way, I, that way it always makes sense to get more than one thing at a time. I do let them know though, if you place another order with me within two weeks of the party, I will waive that for you. So that's just an idea that I do. It doesn't mean that you have to do it that way, but for me, it softened the blow of charging them the $8 when I had the products on hand. Um, because I was always super nervous about that, especially in the beginning. Okay, so here is somebody that I, she was brand new customer at the party and she didn't shop. But this is what I followed up with her. It was so great meeting you at so-and-so's party. I hope you had fun. I know you didn't get the opportunity to shop, but Chelsea will still get credits for purchases before Friday. Did you have any questions on any of the products? So again, I'm at least touching base with her. I don't always get responded to, and that's okay too. Um, I stopped taking that personally. <laughs> All right, now here is what I do for birthdays. Um, I don't have like a cute graphic or anything like that because I found that when I keep it simple, when I, 
when I was doing graphics before the way that Facebook is like, it would send the photo first and then the message. So it almost be like, they'd get the two notifications. And I was like, why am I doing this? Like, I can just keep this simple. Now I personally offer my clients 25% off for two weeks that they have to use it. Now, mind you, I'm at 50% buying discount. So if you're not there yet, I do not recommend that you give that deep of a discount. And I'll be honest with you, I'm kind of like debating whether or not I want to um, decrease that percentage. Um, but then I'm like, oh, are people gonna be upset with me? So I, I, I'm still in the process there. But I end the question or I end the message with a question, would you like my online catalog link? And if they ask for it, that's when I go ahead and I give them the catalog link. And the reason why I give them the catalog link, I keep a full inventory. If those of you that do not have products on hand, don't feel like you have to have the entire store. Um, you can even just use corporates shop 10 or shop five coupons to, that they can um, shop directly on your website. So again, it's one of those things work smarter, not harder. And then if they don't um, get back with me within the two weeks, it's my job to follow up with them. So just keep that in the back of your mind too. I don't want anybody to think like, oh, well, geez, I feel like I'm bothering them. You're not, you're doing your job because here it is. You're reminding her that, hey, listen, you had two weeks to use it. Did you want to take advantage of your coupon? Okay, so here is a customer uh, product follow-up. So it's one of those things where I'm just touching base with them and I'm not asking them if they want to refill anything. I'm starting up a conversation. I'm asking them how do they love their products. Um, so again, it's one of those things where you, you have to build that connection and I treat them like they're my friend. So if I were to reach out to a friend, I wouldn't say, hey, listen, Marie, how's your coochie doing, right? <laughs> that sounds funny anyway, but it's one of those things that you do. You just, hey, how are, how are things going? I hope you guys are staying safe. How do you love your product so far? And then they'll let you know if they're interested or not. Okay, building engagement. So um, here's what I will tell you. This is the post that I was talking about before I switched because my, my um, VIP page used to be uh, Pure Romance by Sherry VIP Lounge. So then um, on the 17th is when I officially had switched it over to Girl Tribe. And um, this was the post that I had made. And I know I saw several consultants do the same thing, um, but I actually did change the format of it. So this was the post that I had used. And then what I did was every person that commented, I went ahead and I replied with a link to my VIP group. So that way it boosts the algorithms because see my comments are up right? So I probably had maybe 250 people comment on it, but then I went ahead and I commented. So it boosts the algorithms too. Okay. So a couple things that I do in my VIP page that I think has been super helpful. Um, I post videos of myself in our lingerie along with photos. The reason why is because I've had several clients that say, oh, I wish I had a body like the girl in the catalog, okay? I'm sure all of you have heard that too. Here's the deal. The girl in the catalog wishes she had a body like that too, okay? Chances are they're airbrushed. So when I post the lingerie, I let them know, hey, listen, I'm gonna take a picture of myself in the lingerie. You get to see it on a non-airbrushed body, AKA me. And the reason why I started doing videos is because I wanted them to be able to check out like how I felt wearing that piece of lingerie. So how is the stretch on the, on the lace? How does the back look? Things like that, because sometimes you can't get the right angle. Um, and I don't have a professional photographer living in my home, although I wish I did sometimes. That would be fun. But just showing the, showing the idea of the lingerie on myself along with the videos has really, really helped. And in fact, I didn't know how well it helped until I started having clients reach out to me when I didn't do it right away. And they said, hey, listen, are you going to take a picture of yourself wearing the twice as nice or whatever piece that it was? And I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm behind on things. But yeah, I will absolutely do that. Um, having funny memes in there, we're going to show you some examples of some things that get good interaction. And actually, I get a lot of the stuff from girls um, that I follow on Facebook. So whether it be a sister consultant, whether it be a girl on the team, whether it just be somebody that posts something funny, I'm always saving things. And then I just, I probably need to get organized, um, but, and have like an album in my phone, but I don't. 
Um, client testimonials. So invite your clients to give their testimonials or ask for permission. I have one earlier today. I actually, I have to post it later. Um, she was talking about body do. So I was like, Hey, can I use this, you know, as a testimonial? And she's like, yeah, absolutely. Or let them um, go ahead and tag you in something, you know, even offer like, Hey, listen, I'll send you a free little gift with your next order. If you don't mind tagging me and talking about like how that particular, um, how that particular product made you feel. Um, product demos. So I know that I shared with Nikki, I have my sexy spreader demo. Um, I also have my door swing demo and a lingerie demo. Um, I sent her links. I don't think I sent you the link for the door swing. Um, I don't know if I have it in a link to be honest with you, but here's some examples. I don't know what happened with that last slide too. Let me see. Okay. Uh, yeah. And let your clients have a place to ask the questions too. And I'll show you. Um, Cause like I said, that first question that came up, I was like, oh my gosh, I'll show you when, when we get to it. Okay. So here's some examples in the VIP page. Um, there it is. So I'm showing a video with a picture of myself along with the catalog model. So that way they can see it. Um, I truly do love our lingerie and I don't know about you guys, but if you've gone shopping for lingerie, um, I had a photo shoot recently and I went into um, the store with a lot of lingerie. I won't say the name, you guys know what I'm saying though. Um, and I, I wasn't impressed. Like I feel like their fabric is nothing compared to ours. Um, the way that the fabric made my skin feel and even the price, like ours is definitely priced um, great. So what I will tell you, you'll see like on these limited edition lingerie pieces, especially I never, I don't discount lingerie. And to be honest with you, really the only discounts that I do are uh, my flash sales, which are twice a year. I do them right in my VIP page. I do birthday coupons. Um, and then I, um, my hostesses, my hostesses get discounts, but it, besides that, like, I don't, I don't believe that our products need to be discounted. I think that they're priced right. So you'll see how I word it on the pictures because you gotta be super mindful too. Cause, um, Facebook will flag your posts if you put dollar signs in them. So what I do is I just use the edit feature on, um, the photos and I put on there only $49. So I'm not putting like the retail price is $49 or a sale price. I just put only and then $49 and they're buying them. So here's some funny little posts. I actually, um, I don't remember where I got the first one, but I know I had posted it a while back. So I went ahead and I um, shared it in my VIP page too, because I was actually, I did have I was doing the inventory and I was like, God, I got a lot of bondage stuff. So let me go ahead and post this. Um, and then the middle one, it's something like it, it's inspirational, but it's also funny, right? And then the last one is talking about breath, the breast exams, especially with my mom going through what she just recently went through, um, just giving them that friendly reminder to go ahead and, and do that monthly uh, breast exam. Okay, so the womanizer, those of you that do not have a womanizer, I'm gonna invite you to just go ahead and do that. Your clitoris is gonna thank me later um, because I have not had anybody um, really give a bad review. I'm sorry, let me take that back. I think I had three different people, but it turned out they weren't using it properly. Um, I think it's pretty to the point, but it's fine. Sometimes you have to explain things to people, which is totally fine. Um, the you do you gift sets, those were a major, major hit, but here's the deal. Even having the womanizer without giving them the extras, you're going to sell it. So if you actually try it yourself, um, you're going to glow a little bit differently when you're talking about that product. I like to refer to the womanizer as like our very first crush. Um, and maybe you see them like by the lockers and then you blush. So it's kind of how you feel once you use the womanizer. And then every time you see it, you do the same thing. You get like the butterflies and blush inside. So here's a couple other ones. Um, this actually, this first post was a girl on our team that um, she's a mail carrier and she works um, a lot of hours. She's, she's walking 14 miles a day and, um, and she's a tiny girl too. So she um, loves our muscle rub. So I, she, I was like, I'm just going to go ahead and use that as a testimonial. The middle one is a client that posted in my VIP page. Um, and then the last one was actually, um, I saw a sister consultant got a review on Tom. So that's what I posted right there. 
So don't be afraid of that kind of stuff either. So if you have like in your team pages and things like that, you guys share your testimonials. Um, you take out the names and it's totally fine. So here's some other videos that I've done and you can see like the first video, I'm in my workout clothes. <laughs> the second video, same thing. The third video, I'm in my pajamas. So see my customers can see that like this is real life. And yes, I can do this from home. Um, I like to do the box reveals with them. So if I get a box of products, especially when they're brand new products, I love to be able to share those and go through the boxes with them. So that way they get the same experience that I do. Um, that second one, like I said, that womanizer, um, I have tons of reviews on that. And then the other one is um, another new product launch that I had shared within my VIP page. So here's some interactive questions that I did post in my VIP page and I'll show you. So um, do you have piercings? So I let them elaborate where those piercings were. Um, porn, that is a taboo subject sometimes, yes or no, and do you watch it with a partner or not? And then the cheating one actually came from a client. That was the first question I was like, oh gosh. Um, she like hit it like, you know, once a cheater, always a cheater. Like, what do you believe? And then um, waxing, laser or shaving, because what typically ends up happening is that I'll have clients that'll end up like, hey, you should try the aftershave mist from Sherry. Um, so here's the two posts that I had did just recently. The one, let's talk piercings. Do you have them? Do you like them? If so, why? Um, another one, let's hear it porn. Yes or no. And if yes, do you watch it with your partner or no? So some people were willing to share, some people were there just there to observe and that's okay too. Okay, so upselling some products. Um, so consumables, don't assume that people just want one of something. So that being said, like say that you're doing those refills on Coochie, um, you don't wanna assume that they just want one, okay? Let them know like, hey, listen, how many would you like? The other thing with um, the Euphoria, I only demo Euphoria liquids. And what I started doing at my party is I still have some maple sugar whipped left. So that's what I'm showing at my parties. Um, but what I'm doing is when they're doing their shopping with me, I say, hey, I showed maple sugar inside. Did you want that? Or would you prefer um, something that tastes like cake batter? So cake batter is our Euphoria. Now, listen, they're not asking me what the difference is in cost. If they want cake batter, they're gonna get the euphoria and it's totally fine. TLC is an easy upgrade. So you guys know that when somebody gets a toy, you should always talk about the cleaner and then also um, lubrication and a toy tote. So here's something that I do. Um, and it's one of those things, I feel like it's more of like a subliminal thing where if somebody, uh, or at my parties, or even when I'm doing my online parties, I have all of my toys are in their own separate toy tote, okay? And then when I'm talking about the toy tote at the end, I let them know, like, you might've noticed that all of these toys are in their own separate toy tote. It's important because you don't want the two materials touching. The other thing too, is that um, it prevents the growth of bacteria and it keeps everything out of sight. So when I have clients that order a toy for me, automatically I'm asking them, did you wanna grab some toy cleaner, some lubrication and a toy tote, or do you have those already? So that way it's just easy and they know that it's already coming. You basically, you're, um, you're kind of training them to know. All right, so every single interaction, the, uh, the most minute details of the interaction you have with your customer are an opportunity for you to create something remarkable. I am a firm, firm believer in that. Um, the other thing I will tell you guys too, let me go to stop. There it is, okay. Um, the other thing too is I love the quote of people will forget what you say, but they'll never forget how you made them feel. Um, and I'm a firm believer in that. I, I truly, truly am. I think that, you know, that happens all the time where people remember how you made them feel and then they're gonna want all of their friends to buy from you too. So it's not just a, an experience with pure romance, it's an experience with you, which is awesome. Thank you, Sherry, that was yeah. awesome. So guys, did you love seeing all of her things that are in her VIP page? Tons of good stuff. So you always wanna think outside the box, right? And I think Sherry does that in her VIP page. So if you have any questions in the chat, make sure you put them in there because we got her for a little bit if you would like. Um, I did have a few, um, Sherry, what if, um, so we get the question sometimes like, 
well, what if the consultant's virtual and doesn't have product on hand? What are you doing? What would you recommend? Um, Tammy Potter had an awesome idea. And actually when I'm doing my one-on-ones with girls that start with a social seller, I recommend that they do it. Um, basically all that you have to do is if you go on to, um, do you want me to, can I screen share and show? Yeah. Okay. This is basically what I do when I'm, um, doing a, a one-on-one with a brand new, um, consultant. Let me go into the COO. So I show them this really cool feature. Um, the fact that you can go ahead and look at um, all our, so underneath the order tab, when you go under place regular order, you can put it in catalog view, category view or product view. But um, I personally like to look at it in catalog view because I like to be able to see the pictures. Now, if for instance, you're like, I really wanna show fifth base, but I don't have it. So all you have to do is you can just go ahead and click on it, save the image, right? And then you can actually um, print off the pictures or you can send them to like a Walgreens, CVS or whatever's near you. Um, and then go ahead and glue those on a popsicle stick. And then on the back, you can go ahead and write down your demo. So what's really neat, and I, this is what I, I literally do this on my, on my one-on-ones. So um, you can click on fifth base, and what's nice is you'll see that this is going to pop up for you. So it gives you like a brief description, but then you can go underneath features. You can go underneath contents. You can go underneath directions. That's important to be able to tell them that. Um, you can click here where it says presentation. It literally gives you a demonstration. So you can go ahead and... Um, so you can go ahead and put this right on the back. Like you can... Um, you don't have to put like ver word for word, but you can put little key notes or key um, key phrases on there. So it'll tell you like what to say when you're demoing it. Um, so super easy. And that way it's it's more affordable too. I use that feature too, Sherry. It's because it's right there. Yeah, it's right. Like I seriously, I, we did not have, when I started in 2011, we did not have all of this. Mm -mm. So I'm like, what in the world? I agree. Um, another question that came through was, are you doing product of the week? Are you tuning into that? Are you doing anything different? So um, the only thing that I'm doing different, I am featuring products of the week. I'm following like how corporate does it. I don't necessarily stay on schedule with it. Um, but we do have, I have a leader on our team that she posts it for our team um, to do it. Awesome. Do you run any of your parties in your VIP page or how are you doing your parties? Are they outside of your VIP if it's virtual or how yeah. are you, what's your party system? I so guess. what I am doing for my virtual parties is they are outside of my, um, my VIP page. Um, however, I do have a girl on my team, Shelby Ruiz, and she does a battle of the hostesses every single week. And she's going to start recycling her group page. And that's what we're starting to do with our mega parties for our team. So we just, we just finished one last week. Um, but basically you can keep that same group for your online parties and let them know like, Hey, listen, I'm getting ready to start another online party within here. So you're welcome to stay in the group. If not, then here's the link for my VIP. You can go ahead and make your way on over there. So I was like, that's smart. I never would have thought to do that. Yeah. I've, I've tried it all. When we had, when we yeah. changed virtual, we had to figure out how to all do, we do it outside our group. Do we do it inside our group? Do we do events? Do we do groups? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know, guys drop in the chat, like what you're doing. Are you doing inside the group or outside or? Hold on, Sherry. I'm looking through the chat. I know. I'm scrolling too, to see if I can find any <laughs> questions. Oh, Jessica said she left the car business. I know it is so crazy. I'm so glad. Like it was such a male dominated field. And you know, what's funny, you guys, is that uh, I was just telling my mom this yesterday when I worked with all men, because it's just different. And I remember um, they used to call me mother Teresa because I wouldn't cuss. I would like spell out my cuss words. <laughs> so <laughs> I would say like, oh, S-H-I-T. Um, and now look at me. I'm like, it is what it is. It's fine. Oh, here's a question. What, um, so you have your senior consultants through advanced directors on this call. What is something, there was one in the chat about 
well, I'm not getting an erection if I do lingerie posts and putting myself out there. What, what kind of recommendation would you, I guess, what's your thought process on how they um, could get more interaction one or maybe how to build their VIP page? So I think, um, I think a mistake that a lot of consultants make, I, I'm not saying that this is what's happening here. I'm just saying that overall, um, when you're not getting the interaction, especially, um, you have to ask yourself, how many people do you have in your VIP page, number one, because I don't see, like there's groups that I'm in and I don't see every single post because um, it, it defaults to highlights only. Um, the other thing is have that tough conversation, maybe reach out to some people that are in your VIP and say, Hey, listen, like I'm really trying to build this business and I want to make it like fun and successful. So do you have any feedback for me? Find out like what they're looking for, because number one, they're going to appreciate the fact that you reached out and you value their opinion. But then number two, they might give you that outside. I learned stuff from my husband all the time. I'm like, why didn't I think about that? And here I do this for a living, right? But he'll give me ideas or maybe I'll hear something and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So I think that it's, it's building it, but don't feel, do not compare yourself. And I know that that's a hard one because I do it too. Nine years in the business, I still do it. Um, but you can't compare because there's no two consultants that we're not cookie cutter. We're just not right. Um, but don't give up for sure. Like keep on posting them, but find out maybe what you could be doing differently. Yeah. I love that. Like asking your customers that are in there, what, what they're looking for. And guys, I feel like that's a great tip from Sherry because then your customers are going to be able to feel validated and also feel like that you're just wanting their opinion, but Hey, what about asking them for a product testimonial, especially if you don't have any, right. Or you don't have any on those products that you're looking for. Um, what if, you know, I just had a girl, just an example, like she was like, I just love how you treat everybody in the group. And it's not, you don't treat anybody differently. So maybe they give you a review on your business too, and post it in your page. Um, I, I love that Sherry. That is awesome. What, um, we have about a few minutes, we have about four minutes. What um, advice could you give them, um, like top five tips maybe, or top three tips on um, maybe trying to start to incorporate some of these virtual things in your VIP page like you did? So I think um, try one thing at a time. Like I get overwhelmed all the time. I mean, I have, I have notebooks full of, of things from even like the, um, the Sarah Klein program, things like that. I'm like, I constantly have all these notebooks that I forget about, but then I go back and I'm like, it really is. It's all the same information. It's just recycled in different ways, but try different techniques that work, follow somebody that you really do look up to how they do run their business and try whatever they're doing. And don't be afraid to reach out. Like I, I get messages all the time from consultants and I'm happy to help anybody at any time. And I know that that's like, that is part of what we do. Here's the other thing too. I learned from you guys, like, don't think that if a brand new consultant comes into the business that she doesn't have anything to offer. They have a ton of things to offer. And like I just mentioned too, like my husband comes up with ideas and I'm like, how, how does he know this? Like, how does he know how to market it that way? Um, so that I would say, just try something and stick with it, stick with it more than one time too. And don't get frustrated because it, it happens to me as well. I get ghosted all the time. And then I get, ben actually, before I had this, um, this training today, I had someone that, that I reached out, it was her birthday. And she said, um, she said, no, thank you. She said, I have a coworker that's a consultant now. So I'm going to buy from her. And I remember I was just like, mur, mur. and I was like, no, you can't be like that because it's, she's still supporting the company. Um, so I still get hurt my feeling. I'm a human being just like the rest of you guys. Um, Kelly said product testing. Um, yes, I do offer product testing. It's another one of those things though. I don't believe in giving a ton of discounts. So don't feel like you need to, because here's the deal. Like I have a big goal, big, scary, hairy goal. I can't make a hundred thousand. I can't profit a hundred thousand dollars if I'm giving away the farm. Right. So always keep that in the back of your mind too. Like you don't have to give tons of discounts. Um, I don't use like, uh, I'm not super, um, I'm not a big stickler on like Google forms and things like that. I think it's a great tool to use, 
But again, it's one of those things, do it to where it fits your personality. So if you're doing product tester and you're like, I'm not going to do anything with this Google form, then don't do it. Just do the product tester packages, get those sales, make sure that you're following up with your clients. That is one thing I will tell you guys, um, if, you, if you get in a good routine of following up right from the jump in your business, it will make a huge difference. And then it's like, you don't have to work as hard. Yeah, follow-up is probably a lot of our, um, we're not, not our strong suits, right guys? Like yeah. follow-up is, it takes a little bit until you get the routine down. So I remember when one of our trainings, Cheryl put me on that 222 class. Remember I wanted one of yeah. our trainings we did and that's when I learned it. So guys, you just got to keep doing it. Keep commit to the process, detach from the outcome, right? I know that's we hear it all the time and don't think that you're not bothering anybody when you're reaching out, you're doing your job. So it's all in how you word things. So it's not like, Hey, do you want to buy something? I'm like, Hey, I'm just checking in. So well, I'll it's think just like that me. restaurant um, analogy, right? The waitress. Yeah. yeah. She's not crying. Cause you said no to dessert. She's not going in the back of the kitchen. Like, Oh my God, table two doesn't want any dessert. She's just going to ask the next table. It's fine. Oh, I was, I was going to ask when you brought up the, you got that no from that client. Is there anything that you respond to them after when they, I, I guess she was, a, she was, she's shopping from another consultant, but yes. have you gotten no's before? Yeah, you what do you do with that? Say? Yeah. So, um, and, and it's so, cause again, I use a ton of emojis. I'm like, uh, I'll pull it up and I'll tell you exactly what I had said. Cause it did. Cause I think that's where people stop is like, even yeah, if they no. get the no, you what still want to leave it on good terms because here's the thing. Like, what if that consultant goes inactive, right? Um, so I said, no worries. Wink face. Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate you. That's it. I didn't tell her like deep down inside. I'm like, Oh, but it's fine. Yeah. Cause she'll remember how I treated her. She'll remember that and puts a lasting impression. And then she might refer you to somebody else. True. Cause word of mouth yep. is the best marketing. Mm-hmm. Yep. And I feel like people don't hear it enough. People don't hear, I appreciate you enough. And so if you can say it and you come from a genuine place with it, it leaves a huge impact. Sherry, how are so you've been in business for nine years? So mm -hmm. how are you building new relationships since virtual? Um, I get a ton of referrals. Um, and, and I do, I, I feel like it's because of how I've treated people along the way. You know, if, if you treat people right, you do what you say you're supposed to do. So if, if you have like, maybe someone reached out and they had a question for you, but you didn't know the answer, make sure you get back to them. Or if you had product that you had to ship out to a client, don't wait too long to get it out to them. Make sure that you're a person of your word, because again, it's one of those things that they remember how you made them feel. And they will refer you to everybody. I always say, even when I'm doing like a um, new um, consultant training with my team, I always tell the girls, I'm like, you, I wanted to quit so many times in my first six months. I was so fed up. I had parties with no sales. I had parties where nobody would show up. I wasn't getting booking. It was everything underneath the sun. And then finally I was like, no party is a bad party. Every single party is a new opportunity. And all it takes is one person. You make a good connection with one person. She is going to literally refer you to every single person that she knows. It's because of how you made her feel. Yeah. Like guys, be you. You can yeah. tell Sherry's got that personality. Be you. Brand yourself. Yeah. Everybody's going to love you for you. That's the main part of what we do because we are there to make, make people smile. We're, we have that consultant like bubble that just everybody wants to do what we want to do. So do. have that confidence. Yeah. They just don't know it yet, but once they know it, then they're like, okay, I want, I want what she has. Oh, are you doing anything different when you ship stuff out since virtually you're probably shipping more stuff out since oh, you're God. not doing as many in-home parties? Yeah. Are you doing anything different? Um, all of my lingerie gets, and this is you guys, I'm not going to tell you anything that's like going to be mind blowing at all. Um, but I, my lingerie all gets wrapped in pink tissue paper. I spray it with kiss. I love the honey and gold. I still have some and I'm like, everybody needs it. Um, and then I slap a thank you sticker on a really pretty thank you sticker. Um, I also have ice scrapers, same thing. I think I got the idea from Tammy Potter. See, you got to cite your sources. Um, and it's a, it, it's a color changing ice scraper. And it says, how many inches did you get? Um, true story. I was just recently at a party. I gave that to my hostess as part of her hostess gift. And she pulled it out and she's like, 
is this to really measure him? And I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, no, it's an ice scraper. Um, so I send that out right now. I do have personalized koozies. So if it's somebody that lives in a state that they don't get snow, they get one of those. Um, and then I always put samples in there too. Um, I love the travel size body boost and Coco glow. I haven't been on to see if we have anything else, but I like to send those too, because they fall in love with it and then they want to order it. Yeah. We just got all the new sample foil packs underneath the business supplies, like for Coochie Capri Dream, all the oh, different scents. Okay. So make sure to go snag some of those guys because underneath your business supplies in your next order, because that's a big deal to give those samples out with your business card and with and in your shipments. Because what if they want to try something? Sherry, I love the kiss because you can spray the perfumes on there, but then they you've sent it to them so many times, maybe if they're a reorder customer. Yeah. So the kiss is a big different. That's a game changer too. Cause then they get more sense. Yeah. I also, um, I hand write a note to every client and, um, and I always put a signature smiley face. I've been doing the same smiley face since I sold cars, like before my daughter was born. So, and, and it's funny because when we, like, when I started with pure romance and we get the smiley face in our boxes, right. I was like, it's like I was meant to be with this company because they do the smiley face too. So I'm um, having that little handwritten note. I get a lot of really great responses with that too because it's like a part of me is going with them. So like, yeah. Well, guys, we got about four minutes left. Is there any last minute questions for Sherry um, in the chat? Put them in there. If not, then we can let you go early. Sherry, you got three minutes. Give me three minutes back. <laughs> But I'm give her her. love in the chat and we appreciate Sherry for her time today. Um, if it's snowy up there in Michigan, I, it's so cold. I went, um, so I do work out, um, with a trainer. And so I had to meet her at a girl's house, like down the street. And I walked there and my face literally hurt. And I know that she likes the weekend. So when I walked in, I'm like, I can't feel my face when I walk outside. And she's like, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, there was a question. What if yeah. someone is sensitive to scents and gets upset about the kiss spray? <laughs> that's, that's a really great, um, mm -hmm. that's a great question. I think that I would be mindful watching their orders. Yeah. So if they're ordering Healy from me, or maybe they've never ordered something with a fragrance, I probably would not do that. So it's taken that extra step, but yeah. Yeah, knowing your customer, what they've ordered. And you can also look at the new, um, if they're a contact in your system, go under contacts and you can load your orders mm -hmm. too in the, in the COL. So, oh, um, well, this is a great question we can end on. What, yes. what, which activity generated most of your outside sales last month since you had um, 17,000 in outside orders? <laughs> Um, follow up from my, I do a flash sale in, uh, November. And so my follow up for my flash sale, um, that generated a lot. I did grab bags, which again, cause I just got done doing inventory. I was like, I got to get rid of all this stuff. So that helped out and then follow up on birthdays too. So. Love it. Love it. Follow up, follow up, follow up guys. Yes. Follow up. You're not bothering anybody. I promise you're doing your job. Yeah. Well, thank you, Sherry, for your time today. Everybody. You did amazing. Thank you. Any last minute words before we go? Just don't give up, you guys. Um, and we all have the ability of making a positive imp imprint on others. Um, so just, you know, even though when you have a client, she's like, no, thank you, or she's doing business with somebody else. No worries. I appreciate you. Thank you for letting me know. Just leave it at that and, and just know that like that'll come back to you. So. I'm a firm believer in karma. Love it. Well, guys, thank Sherry in the chat. Give her some love. Maybe we'll have her back again. And the next call will start at 2.15 for the senior director and above call. And see you next week, next Wednesday, same time. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Nikki.